welcome back guys at the end of this video you should know how to draw how to draw the development for this truncated rectangular prism we will assume the length the base to be 50 by 30 and the height to be 60. So first I'll change to my outline layer, my sorry construction layer. A rectangle R E C enter left click and I want I want the the base to be 60 and the height to be 3 and height to be 80, 80, comma, 80, enter. Next time I'm gonna draw a line, I could use a circle, C for circle, enter, 2P, 2P. And draw this down here. Let us be 20, 2, 0, enter. So the purpose of this circle is to establish the distance, the space between the front and the plan, which should be between 20 to 20 millimeters. My next step is to draw a rectangle to represent the, the plan. And the, the length is 60 by 30. So for that, we engage rectangle, R, E, C, enter, left click. And this is 60, comma, 30, 3, 0, enter. That is done. My next step is to move this in place. So I left click, M for move, enter. Click here as the base point, drop that there. That's now done. My next step is to is to cut this figure. Cut this figure. Determine the cut. So for that time I will be using a circle. C for circle. Enter. Left click here and go up thirty go up thirty five or forty five. 45 enter 45 now the purpose of this circle is to establish the distance from here to here to get the line across here so once that has been established my next step is to you engage polyline pl enter then change my outline layer and click here Deactivate orthogonal mode. This will give me some flexibility to um click here. Then C for close. Oh, I choose the wrong layer. I choose roof. Uh, it's okay. All right, that is done. This part is not done. Next, I want to. I want to change this to outline so for that I'll be using match property M A enter left click here left click there that's now done now this circle can go I no longer need a circle my next step is to label these so I'm going down to text and I'm typing T E X T enter left click here enter and this is one two three four and this is here is one and four one four two three two and three then escape my next step is to draw 
uh, line which I line across here equivalent to the perimeter of this. So this distance is I'm gonna add some text, add some text, add some dimension to this. Go to my dimension there. Click here. Press two times. That is there. Press two times to restart. That is there. Press two times for this. That is there. And that's basically all that we need. No, I don't need this anymore. That can go. Mm, this might be a little bit too close to the top. Let bring this down. This might be there. No, I'll be drawing a line across here. Line. I delay here and using object snap tracking. And I want to ensure that this line is perfectly horizontal, so we'll be engaging orthogonal mode. Now the length of this line is 60 plus uh, 90 plus uh, 60 plus 30 equals 90 by 2 equal 180. So this should be 181801801 escape. Alright, so my next step is to mark off the distance for these. Mark off these these distance, these increments. So um for this I'll be using I could use um, I could use um circle I could, could, could use line and use offset. Uh could use offset our draw line. But also use circle circle 2p right, let me use offset let me use line let me keep it a little simple uh, line and then this is like distance offset o enter t enter left click 60 60 enter left click Three zero enter. Left click. Six zero enter. Left click. Three zero enter. And those are now the sides. So here to label these, right, let me change my text layer. So this is one. This is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, and this is back to one. Click outside and escape. My next step is to use um, a rectangle to generate those points. So go to construction. Click on rectangle, left click here, and then come down to here. That is the first point. Spacebar to reactivate, left click here, then go down to two. That's the second point. Spacebar to reactivate. Here, go down to three. We have that space bar to reactivate. Left click here, go down to four. We have that space bar to reactivate. Um, left click here and go back to one. And we're good. Now I'm going to use polyline. Polyline, click polyline, then change to my outline layer. And now we're one meets one, one meets one right here. Two goes to two here, 
two goes to two, two, two here, three here, four here, and back to one here. Then we go down here. Now, well, now this part, no, I would need to draw a line here, a line from here, from here, out to this point. Draw an author mode for this one. All right, let's go a little bit beyond that. Space bar to reactivate line, left click here, left click there. Left click here, left click here. Left click here, left click there. Left click here, left click there. Left click here. T R enter enter. And there we go. The development for this. Now please note that if you're gonna be using this technique, you should determine where you want to open this and label that point number one. Very important. If you label here as number one, here is where the object will cut. If you label here as number one, there is where the object will cut. So there we go. Peace out guys.